is up everybody, buddy, 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 and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video, video, video. So today guys, bring you all a brand new deck, and this deck is a Cerebro 3 deck. So basically we have a bunch of cards that have 3 power, and if you guys know Cerebro's ability, basically it's an ongoing ability where the card with the highest power gain plus two power so if you have a bunch of cards with the same power they all get plus two to that power so the strategy is to have a bunch of cards with the same power such as you know three costs and whatnot i mean three power sorry and then cerebro has the ability to buff them which essentially makes them a five power. So I am pretty excited to try this deck. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of Cerebro decks just because with Cerebro decks, if you get a location where, you know, uh, cards at a certain location get plus two power or something, it kind of throws off the whole deck. So it is a little bit annoying, but uh, I am still pretty excited to try it. Now, I, I don't have, um, Cerebro just yet, which is a bit unfortunate. I kind of forgot who, oh no, he discarded, um, that's right, he discarded, um, Gambit, so Gambit comes back, we lose our Sentinel, destroy their Maria Hill, and I'm pretty sure they're running a bounce deck. They use Loki, which everyone seems to be using, and I don't even get Cerebro, so that is a little bit annoying. I guess uh, I just throw down a Valkyrie. I guess his plan is just to flood the board, which is, you know, fine, but of course it would be nice. If I did have that Cerebro, um, but yeah, he's for sure probably going to beat me, um, uh, just because, especially since I'm going first, that card he plays over on the left, if it's anything more than a four, like a four or more, then he just beats me outright with the power, so, a little bit unfortunate there, but, they are taking a pretty long time, as, yeah. sucks but it is what it is i guess he was trying to figure out the best way to play it but oh there he, he was also running a cerebro deck but he you know ended up stealing it from me so that's a bit unfortunate for us but gg's to my opponent all right to the altar of death definitely not too bad but I do want to keep my cards on the board, and Swarm is actually really, really good to get rid of, because, oh, well, there goes my blade, that sucks, but now I have two, three powered Swarms. <laughs> of course, we have the Danger Room, that's fine. I'll do something like this, because uh, that way I just get more power next turn. But the Altar of Death and then the Danger Room is not the greatest. However, playing Sentinel at the Altar of Death does give us one back. And then, of course, Swarm. I'm kind of fine with him getting destroyed if that does become the case. But I could go Ghost Rider right now. I'd probably just go Gambit into another Sentinel. Into a Swarm. So, not really too upset about how this is going for us. Because at this rate, we're kind of just infinitely getting more Sentinels. There goes our Valkyrie, destroys the blade. That's not the worst in the world. Um, I could honestly go Ghost Rider down the middle. And then get rid of Wasp. I want to keep at least one card in my hand now. So I would have gone a Sentinel, but there's really no point. I don't really need the energy. But Ghost Rider is going to bring back oh, Valkyrie, which actually isn't that bad. Um, because even though it buffed Electra, it did reduce 
Lady Sif. I don't really need Invisible Woman here. I guess I could just drop her down for the power, but like I said, I don't really need her. Because I don't even know if I'm playing Cerebro just yet. And... Oh, great. This is kind of what I meant. Um, with the fact that... Um, with Cerebro decks, I was saying this at the start of the video, but... This is why I'm not really a big fan of Cerebro decks, is because if you don't even get Cerebro like this, no point. Because it kind of makes the deck pretty crummy, but somehow we still end up coming away at the win here. I don't know how, but we do, so... GG's to my opponent there. Hala, first up. Not the greatest location. Uh, but it's whatever. See, a location like Nidafelia though is really annoying for Cerebro. Because plus 5 power, that makes whatever cards I play there have more power. So then Cerebro doesn't hit all my other cards. That's kind of what I was saying as well earlier. It's like, that's what makes it tough to use Cerebro like that a little bit. So, it is what it is. I can play Jeff just because I can move him away, but yeah, it, it just sucks to use a deck like a Cerebro deck. And the thing is that I'm not even like getting Cerebro. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm not really, I haven't even played him yet. So, and without Cerebro, it kind of does suck, you know, to use a deck like this. Um, but he plays Cosmo, which is fine, because I have an ongoing in my Cerebro, so that's whatever, but, dude, we have not even gotten a single chance to <laughs> do anything, like, I haven't even seen Cerebro yet. That's insane, that, that really is insane. Dude, you've got to be freaking kidding me. I, I have to retreat because, again, I have absolutely no power to play. Like, that's the thing. If I don't get Cerebro, then it kind of makes the deck a bit crummy because you don't really have cards to play that you don't know, hold any power. But if you do get Cerebro, uh, you might get a location like a Nidavellia where it throws off the power on your cards, so it is a very difficult deck to use, especially when you don't even get them, so regardless, I mean, GG's to my opponent. Alright, first up is the Hellfire Club. It doesn't bother me too much. I don't really have that many one-cost cards except for Blade. I like that I have Invisible Woman and Mystique, so of course it would be nice if I do get Cerebro, but I haven't seen him just yet, and of course, Triskelion fills my entire hand, so I kind of lose a turn from drawing any cards, but surprisingly though, my opponent hasn't opened more. They could be running a ongoing deck. So we'd have to be pretty aware of that, but I will just drop Gambit down the middle just to, well, I guess destroy one of their cards and then of course free up my hand a little bit. Hopefully my Gambit destroys his Lizard, but it's probably going to go for the armor, right? Yeah. It's whatever. Surprisingly though, X-23 gets discarded, which is kind of interesting, just because we have that extra bit of energy. Yeah, that plus one energy, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm trying to think who my Gambit discarded. Oh, it's X-23, that's right, so I don't, yeah. Oh well, it is what it is. But we're going to bring back Wasp, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> That's kind of funny, but again, Nurse Reaper, I'm gonna drop Valkyrie uh, because he's gonna drop probably Red Skull, right? So it is the deck he's using is supposed to be like a zero ongoing deck, so you know, maybe more Lizard and whatnot. Um, but I don't know if he has Sauron. Of course, there goes Valkyrie, and again, no Cerebro. Like, come on, man. Oh, well. Um, I'll probably just go. Oh, never mind. I was going to try and flood the left for Lizard's ability to activate, and then play just a card down the middle, so we just win that, but they end up retreating, so that's pretty good for us, and I mean, GG's to them, but I mean, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, that was the Cerebro 3 deck, which is kind of annoying, because if you think about it, and you rewatch this entire video, we did not even pull Cerebro once, like, isn't that insane? That's four straight games of no Cerebro in a Cerebro deck, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, to me, that is just insane, but regardless, uh, if you guys did like the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to show support. I do appreciate all of it, and as always, 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 guys.